So for me, um, whenever I started my fitness journey, um, I actually, on the contrary to what people think, I actually started after I had my first son, which a lot of people start their fitness journey before. Before having kids, yeah. Yeah, so my fitness, when I talk about like my fitness journey, my fitness journey was getting on stage and competing. So, do Is that you, the one with the butterfly wings? That was, that, yes, but that was after. I started with uh, NPC mm. out here on the East Coast, actually. And I, it was at the end of my first pregnancy with Trip. And it was before I had any stretch marks. It was before I had a C-section. And I saw, like, this girl in a magazine, it, you know, and I was like, wow, she, damn, she looks good. <laughs> like, I'm going to be that. <laughs> And I kept going to the doctor's office and, you know, he kept saying, you know, you need to slow down. You're eating a lot of Oreos. I'm like, nah, man, I'm going to compete soon. (laughs) And then, (laughs) and then lo and behold, man, like two weeks later, I ended up like I got stretch marks and then I had to have a C-section. But like in my mind, I had already committed to something. Yeah. And, and that like, honestly, like even to this day, like once I've committed to something, like I do it. Yeah. And I was scared. So before that, did you lift? Like, I knew I that didn't. you did, like, sports. But I did like... sports, but I never lifted. I was a soccer player growing up, ODP. Um, I did a little bit of gymnastics, but I ended up going ODP, traveled with soccer. Yeah. And then I, I really wanted to get on stage because I thought it would be a goal to, like, help me get my bikini body back with a <laughs> six-pack of abs. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and... What I realized in that moment of getting on stage and competing, first of all, I was scared out of my mind. And I thought that my body had been ruined. I never saw anybody in a magazine that had stretch marks. Didn't know of any other fitness athlete who had had C-sections. I was like, literally, I'm going to go up on stage and everybody's going to point and laugh at me. And I actually ended up taking home three trophies that night. Yeah. Yeah. I And so... What that, I think what that taught me, and then shortly after, I ended up doing a photo shoot with um, Paval is his name. Mm. And I remember going to him and I was like, look, I, I just like, I have some stretch marks. And he shot for a lot of the main magazines. And he was like, that's okay. He's like, I shoot tons of women who've had stretch marks. And I remember I was like, what? I'm like, you're telling me like, this is normal? And then for the first time, there was a couple things. One is that throughout my pregnancy, I had so many comments of like being a mom and having a mom body and that I would never get my body back. Right. And right then, and it's funny because it's even now I'm like, oh yeah, let me show you. <laughs> let me show you how I'm going to get my mom body back. It's going to be better than it is now. And then the second was just like how, it was how I felt. And then once I touched the iron, how it empowered me. Yeah. And that is ultimately what started me on my fitness journey of starting with competitions. And then I wanted to be a trainer because, and it's, it's crazy. And, and maybe we can find this clip and share it. But one of my very first YouTube videos, um, cash would have been like maybe a year old. Mm-hmm. There's, I'm on my YouTube filming myself and I'm, and I sincerely, like, I'm so passionate about it. I was like, if I could change one life, if I could save one life, then my job is done. And that was like 11, 10 years ago. Yeah. And I never expected to be where I am today. It's and just that, that first step. It is the first step. 